What's up, Renegade Nation? Before we begin the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters Jordan J., Marvoius, Clever Willow, Anarang Krishnan, Ryan Towers, Ross Lingard, Paper, Zakuma, Richard Dirkman, Ryan James Maxwell, Kenjiro Talbashi, Kit Game, and Jessica Miller. Thank you all so much for your support. And if you want to support us on Patreon, feel free to click the link below in the description to find out more. Thanks again. Oh boy. Oh no. I know what's coming. Bring I... the violence. Bring the violence. I must see. Yep. Oh, oh, there course. it is. Yep. Had to be someone. It was, yep. And it's Jacob. It's okay. It's okay. We all we all have those times. <laughs> well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be quite an interesting, uh, interesting thing because uh, we have the Last of Us 2 trailer queued up here. Uh, audio won't be as good, our first reaction to it, but I will sync it up later and make it a highlight on the channel. Probably I'll, I'll probably release it tomorrow or sometime. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> God, this is... Yeah, this this game is going to be ridiculous because they finished filming last... I think it was, uh, like, this past June. They finished filming around my birthday. Mm -hmm. I remember... I remember it was... Uh, you mean Neil, uh, animation production? Yes. Mm -hmm. I remember Neil Druckmann talking about that. Like, they had wrapped on, uh, wrapped on like, animation production and all that, and all that had to be done was post-production and gameplay bug tweaks, or gameplay tweaks and right. bug fixes and all that, which, given Naughty Dog's reputation, they're going to try and fix as many of those as they can. Oh. They're not... They're not... But they're, they're not going to be anywhere near as prevalent as most AAA games nowadays, because... Quality speaks standards, damn it, and Sony doesn't disappoint with that. Yeah, they don't. They don't seem to like release a game seventy percent finished. Except like, for except for the one, over. except for Days Gone. Days Gone had a lot of bugs no, with it. Never that it. that's no. really the only one that Sony has done recently that people have said is broken hmm. in a lot of ways. But a lot of the bug fixes they've done since have made it a very good game. But still. Bad launch is a bad launch. That's kind of similar to, like, as far as, like, a post-apocalyptic kind of story, right? Yes, except the uh, zombies in that are a lot more, like, like, pe like parasitic, and uh, they attack more as a swarm, like something from... Uh, Left 4 Dead or some shit? No, no more <laughs> like from World War Z. Oh, God. Yeah. So, so have you played Last of Us? Yeah, I probably, yeah, you, know, you played it. it. Oh, yes. played it through multiple times. Same here. Yeah, I, Same here. I played I that. Fantastic. I played the remastered too. I yeah, oh yeah, remastered. That's the one that I played. I, that's you the one play I played too. I played yeah. through it three times. I played through it first on normal difficulty, second on uh, uh, hard difficulty, and the most recent one on crushing. I actually tried to go through it on crushing difficulty oh, on man. stream, <laughs> and I got stuck in the graveyard. And eventually, no, I went man. back and I like bunkered down, and I'm like, okay, I'm getting through this. <laughs> okay, and I go around a corner, and there would be two clickers right there, and, and I only have one shiv, and I'm like, God, why? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I love going and, to that shit, I'm like just full on stealth as as much as possible. Yeah, yeah too. that's, I, that's I, how I most people stealth, yeah. went about it. Um, only time I went full whole hog with guns and everything is whenever I got found out by the humans. Mm -hmm. You got found out by the infected. Uh, say la vie and good luck to you, my friend. But if you got found out by humans, I mean, cover the, the last that. tunnel, that, the little bri or the tunnel that goes yeah. out, oh, where you got the two. Oh my you know, god! Batting, batting, batting I've never there. like it was, yeah, so never, much of my life just trying to haul ass. I was like, well, dude, where they go? That was like a whole plan. Like I was like, okay, I'm gonna throw. There's like a noise uh, thing that you could throw, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah, bottle 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 I'll throw three, two, two or three flame things, and then I'll fucking come in with the the flamethrower thing. Mm -hmm. I'll just hit it. Big fan of shotguns shotgun when it comes all. to any, yes. any horror stuff. Uh, if it's Resident Evil, if it's The Evil Within, The Last of I love shotguns. Mm. Uh, just shotguns and get point blank with them, just boom, taking them out, take them. Yeah. yeah, something so satisfying about violence in video games. Well, it it it's <laughs> a lot better than real world violence. Yeah, I know. Which, hey, 
you know, I mean, there's all this talk and controversy about, it's like, oh, there are certain movies out there that inspire violence and this and that. It's like the, the Joker movie that's coming out. It got mm-hmm. an eight-minute standing ovation at the uh, at the most recent film festival it was at, but now critics, there's critics who are downvoting it because they say, oh, it, it highlights the violence that we have in America and this and that. It's like, it's a well, comic book movie. If, if film critics are saying it's bad, that's probably a damn good fucking movie. Oh, yeah. Well, we were having this conversation the other day when we watched uh, the nostalgia of critics uh, underworld review we actually went and we looked back at the underworld movies turns out the underworld movies according to the critics are trash but according to the fans are good yeah i've got because they got because they're like in the 70s uh, in terms of approval um but the last of us 2 is coming out and uh this is the release date trailer that uh sony released yesterday so we're going to watch this and we're going to see what the hell is happening and uh, our volume's good on TV. I think so because I, I played it a little earlier and I heard it. So, uh, ladies hit and gentlemen, the play button. Hit so, it, Nick. 2013 oh. was when the first one came out. Yeah. Turn so. the volume on the video up. Yeah, uh, yeah. If you want to, go ahead. All right, here we go. Oh boy. Bloody. <laughs> That's a hell of a way to begin the game. Yeah. Five out of ten. Scale of one to ten, I don't care. Yeah, same here. As you said, Nick, I don't care who you bang. Just tell a good story. Who decided to join us? All right. You all know the drill. Run your routes. Pocket your logbooks. You run into oh. anything you can't handle. Uh oh. That ain't good. Come back. Hmm. Zeno, where are you? Oh, boy. Killed her. Hmm. Yeah. Come here. I have to finish it. Revenge. You have no idea what you're walking into. What are you doing? You don't know how large that group is. How armed. I don't care. Please be. Give us Joel. How are you doing here? Give us our guy. Yes! Yes! Woo! You think I'd let you do this on your own? <laughs> Damn right. Hell yes! Nice. Woo! Oh, yes! That was. Oh, dude. I'm in love. Oh. I want to play this. Win. Win. Go Give on. us win. Oh, next year. Okay. Yes. Not too far. That's not, not too, too far, far though. Yeah. Okay. No, that's, I, I, that's, I, I, that's about yeah, five months looked, away. I know, okay. I don't know why. I thought it, was, it looked later in the year. Ooh, ooh. Did, did you see that shotgun blast? I lift him off the fucking ground. That's bullet. legit, oh, dude. Man. That's realistic, yeah. too. Because shot, it, like tank, twelve gauge shotgun blast, they will knock you out of your fucking yeah. socks. Yeah. If they, close if range. Hit, though, yeah. If you get hit center mass. Oh my gosh! Especially with a vest on. Oh yeah. And if you don't have a vest, chances are it's not gonna do much. But yeah, yeah it's gonna go yeah. through you, not yeah, yeah. Not push you. But. Yeah. But yeah, which but if you're going damn. up against armored enemies, which there are in this game. Yeah, that it looked oh, like there was a new God. creature in there too. Yeah. It like new. They just look good. So yeah. mush, mushroom. So bag. what I'm taking yeah, well, from it is that that girl was a past relationship, and she's having flashbacks of that. 
Either that stuff, or and we'll it's like a revenge story. Yeah, I think we'll. I think maybe. Well, that, she's the girl from the that first trailer. I think she's. Yeah, the, I think she's the, the she's the girl that saved her from the hanging ropes. Uh, uh, if I, if I'm mistaken, no, no, no. Maybe that's, that's, I can't remember. That's something else. That's that's actually a uh, that's actually something else entirely. I think that I might think. be later in this game. Yeah, actually, you'll yeah. probably run into that later when the because if if this game's gonna go the way I think it is, um. Ellie is. I know I'm gonna get down votes for making predictions because, like, you don't know that. It's like I'm making predictions, guys. I mean, if I wanted to know, I'd ask Neil Druckmann, and he'd tell me to go fuck myself because guess what? He'll tell play. me to play the game because that's <laughs> what we all need to do. But for now, I'm making speculations. So if you don't want to hear that, click off the video right now. Okay? Okay. So I'm thinking we're effectively going. It's going to be a Tarantino esque thing mm -hmm. where it's going to tell it not. A, a little bit out of order. We're going to see Ellie uh, in a, in the state that she's in, um, you know, in the second half of the trailer mm -hmm. when she's going for revenge, and it's going to go back. We're going to see a little bit beforehand. Could be, yeah. See, so or, on, or, on the original Last of Us, you actually got to play through those memories. Yes, you, you got to play through actually, a lot of those memories. That was actually the beginning of the game. Yeah. The beginning of the game was you playing through Joel's. Uh, uh, you playing through Joel's um, like you know loss of his you know of his daughter, mm -hmm. which you know that's a crushing thing for any any man out there. I mean, actually, I had I don't know if I told you all this before, but I played the I I had my my family members and friends play The Last of Us or watch me play the beginning of The Last of Us. And um, no, didn't you just about cry like your eyes out at the no, beginning I, of that? No, dude, I I'm not teared up. I, I was did. like, I, did. I, didn't get my, I didn't. I got my initial reaction. I record. <laughs> I streamed it to Twitch, but that Twitch stream is long gone now, so mm -hmm. I can't get it back. But my brother, who has a daughter mm -hmm. uh, about the same age as uh, same age as uh, uh, his daughter in the game, mm -hmm. her, uh, name was, her name was Sarah. Yeah, Sarah. Yeah, yep. his name same age as Sarah. Um, my brother, who, you know, I've said this before, is an emotional cripple. Uh, he emotes wrong in almost every single way. Had a legit heart-to-heart -heart moment with me when he told me, you know, that's my little girl, man, and if anything happened to her, I don't know what I'd do. Yeah. And it's just like, and that's a legit, like, a Oh, legit that, that thing. game emotionally captivates you within the first level. It uh, does. And to what, I mean, because you just have to know, why. you like, no, dude, there's no way she just died. And then you, you just have to keep going, and then it's like... Oh, she really did die. Yeah, no. but but it's it's the coping story. It's what happens after that. I mean, it's he, twenty years, though, and, man. No, yeah, yeah, I know. That's twenty that's years. Like a huge jump. Like you never. You always see like one year later, or two years. You know, yeah, like like with years. Avengers, it was like five. Yeah, years later. Yeah. Which that was a long time just, in, yeah. in terms of that movie. But twenty years. A lot of shit game, can happen in twenty years. Oh yeah, a lot of shit. Uh, well, a lot of shit did happen because <laughs> we found out that Joel and Tommy weren't on the best of terms. Tommy went his own way, uh, and that Joel was uh, messing around. And <laughs> it was so long that Tommy joined a resistance group and then left the resistance group to go start a like a commune. A, com a commune in, <laughs> the, in the south. Yeah. Yeah. So which but, now getting into I, I'll try and. I, is it safe to spoil the first one, I guess? I guess. Because uh, it's been out since 2013. If you haven't played The Last of Us yet and you're afraid to. It's been six years. Yeah. I, well, so I wonder <laughs> if, if Ellie and Joel are going to have some sort of confrontation <laughs> over what Joel did at the end of the first game. I don't think so. You know what? Because all the people that knew about it are dead. And the only way that it'll come out is if Joel tells her. Right. But no. Joel is not going to want to relieve that feeling of bliss. From his mind and Ellie's mind. Well, he'll do it for his out of guilt. Oh, well, I mean, out might, of guilt, might but there's nothing her. right now that's really yeah. got him feeling guilty. Outside of him pulling Ellie back from a place that he doesn't want her to go to make her mad at him. Mm -hmm. Because that's one thing I've seen in terms of emotional coping mechanisms. Whenever someone is going down a path that you don't want them to go down, you pull them back with a raw emotion by making them hate you hmm. for a moment because that I've had to I had to do that with my mom because when my mom was uh was really bad off and she was uh you know telling me that she just wanted to leave and never come back and you know move somewhere else and just live her life and uh I knew what she exactly what she meant by that she was just going to go out and just do pills until she died of it eventually hmm. and I told her 
I said I I told her the story about how it was me who actually stole her pills uh, one time instead of uh, my grandma. And uh, my mom and my grandma actually didn't talk to each other for six months because my mom blamed my grandma, and that never got cleared up before my grandma died. Hmm. And that ate at me and ate at me. And when my mom did that, I just laid into her with that. I laid into her with a bunch of emotional stuff that I you know, just had on my shoulders. And at that moment, she looked at me, and she came right at me, and she punched me in the face. Like, And I, I've been slapped by my mom before. I was slapped in the face by my mom when I called her a bitch for the first time when I was like 13. Yeah, I ain't done that, mama. Don't no, I, well, I did it because I, <laughs> I, hell, I honestly didn't know any better. Yeah. But anyway, um, I, uh, I got punched in the face by my mom, and uh, you know she, you know she just kept trying to lay into me, but instead I grabbed her and I like, I like held her until she like got her frustrations out, and then. Uh, I let her go, and I and I was just like, I'm like, I'm going back to the house. You want to come back to the house? I, I'll drive you there. And then on the way back, she started laying into me, and you know, just like I knew it was the drugs talking, but she told me that she um, she wishes that uh, she said that she said this out of frustration and anger, right? So I didn't hold it against her. She said that she wishes I'd never been born. Hmm. She said that to me at one point, and I told her, and I said, "No, well, there's days I wish I wasn't born." And right now is one of them. And to which she like tries to punch me again. And I said, if you tr- if you do that again, you're walking home. I'll dump you off right here in the middle of the four lane, and you can walk home. And she she calmed down. I got her back to the house, and I would say that that was the last time she had a spat with it, but it wasn't. But it was the worst time. But she got over it. So what did that say? February twelfth. Yeah, February twelfth, February twenty first, twenty first, twenty first. Yeah, February twenty first. Little, yeah. little dyslexic, a little bit. Sorry. It's Lexi day. <laughs> yeah. So I've uh, so yeah, and in terms of, in terms of these uh, these characters, I'm very I'm very excited to see the next step with them. I mean, I know we're seeing Ellie and her relationship develop with that character, and um, also we finally get to see Joel again. And it looks like we're gonna experience him in a gameplay aspect as well. Yeah, I At wonder, least I hope. Yeah, so. I wonder if it's gonna kind of it's gonna like flip it with how they did with the first one because most of the game you're playing as Joel, and then you play for Ellie for about a, like a quarter of it. Yeah, or yeah. So if they yeah the last last up, third or so you yeah. play as her for a good portion. Yeah. You play through her, I think, for um, three basically, I guess, missions. Three missions. Well, yeah. basically, oh, essentially a whole chapter, pretty yeah. much, and then the deal. Winter. Basically. Yeah, and then the Winter. DLC. Yeah, the DLC ones where the you DLC know. you get to play with her through her past memories before she ever even got with Joel. Or anything. I didn't. I did like that in the story where it was like you know it started like you know summer and then just to like signify just like that twenty years later thing just to signify like this large jump of time it just. Mm-hmm. You know, it goes to fall and then winter and like yeah. Well, like, Joel gets sick like and the, then they uh, can't get medicine. So was it the? It was yeah. From like summer to fall, like the um, the dude, like the 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 guys from uh, Pittsburgh. Yeah, uh, where and his, his, his brother. little brother gets infected and then he and then he kills him. him yeah, and kills himself yeah. and like that was he kills up, up and then it, it just jumps. It just cuts to fall, fall and like. <laughs> well, it just shows that like, <laughs> even in even in a world that desolate, you. In that world, that desolate, you cannot stop. Mm. You cannot stop and and smell the roses, as they say. I mean, yeah. those they knew them and they'd survived a hell of a situation with them. But at the same time, you know, you have to keep moving. Mm. You have to keep moving forward, as Montillon would have said. Uh, keep moving forward and keep and just you know try and stay alive, especially in that especially in that world. In the making of that game, the. Um actor for uh joel whenever uh his daughter died yeah he had to do that like almost a hundred times almost they even he had even had to come back in a second day just to reshoot that scene they they made him do that like painfully amount of times or whatever but man like never seen so much emotion come out of a video game character in my life yeah shit 